Thanks for the new outfit, Sally. You're welcome, Mo. You're gonna need it. It'd be best if the mayor doesn't recognize you. He'll have you sent up the river. Oh, I almost forgot. You be careful now. I'm gonna miss you, Sally. Gherkin, you listen to your ma now, you hear? Goodbye, Mo. Now you go do what God says. You're a good woman, Sally. All right, Zippy, let's go. <laughs> Zippy? Hi, ho, sliver! Away! <laughs> bye, boys. Oh, bye, Zippy, and don't forget I to take care of well each other. Be careful. Say hi to the mayor for me. <laughs> Howdy. You good at public speaking? Do you ever have to use the imagine everyone in their underwear trick? Mo! Shh! How did you know my name? Well, I'm Aaron, your brother. What are you talking about? You're not a zucchini. Wait a minute, you're my brother, brother. That's right, I was adopted. Plus, your wanted poster is still up all over town. Anyone within 100 miles of here knows your name. You'd better keep that mask on. I didn't recognize you with the mask, which is good. The mayor still has it in for you. Mo told Aaron everything God had sent him to say and about all the miraculous signs he had commanded him to perform. Talking, you do the thing with the stick, God does the rest, and we all go free? Exactly. Huh. All right. Well, I won't have to sell rubber tomahawks anymore? Not unless you want to. I'm in! Don't you get bored out here? Oh, dreadfully. But it beats working in the canyon. You know, my sensitive skin, it just, it doesn't hold up. <laughs> Look at there. Huh? Lovely. This can't be good. Who is well, that? Well, he ain't wearing black. Hope you don't get that hat dirty. Well, Ooh, Ooh, that buffalo looks, looks mean. Can you tell he's a little buffalo? You don't see those anymore. I've never seen him before. Find him? I've seen him somewhere. Isn't that the rubber tomahawk oh, guy? Well, don't that be it all. Heavens. Who is that masked man? He must be a stranger. I'm sorry, I had to. Yes. Wait a minute. You're that worker who sells souvenirs outside of town, aren't you? Isn't that boring? Eh, beats the canyon. Huh. Who's this stranger? He come with you, or did he come alone? Ah, uh, yes. He's the, uh, he's the lone, the lone stranger. The lone stranger, eh? You know how to talk, stranger? Ah, uh, he's a bit shy. He prefers to have me speak for him. You forget to buy a backbone with that new cowboy hat, stranger? Well, what do you want? I don't have all day. Ahem. This is what the Lord God says. Let my people go. What's that? Let us go. Set us free. We want to leave. No more digging and stacking and selling rubber tomahawks. Adios, amigo. Let you go? God said so. Yeah, well, uh, we'll just see what uh, the mayor has to say about... Uh, oh, sorry. What is it? He's only hauling 20 wheelbarrows an hour. I'm old. 30's the minimum. I can't do 30. I'm 80. 30's the minimum. Oh, you drive 30 at my age, you ungrateful. That's enough. You heard the god. The rule is 30. If you can't do 30, it's up the river. No. Please. 
Take him away. Hold this. But, but the plan. Nobody draws a dodgeball in the mayor's office but me. You want me to let you go, eh? Well, how's this? 60 barrels an hour, and that goes for everyone. And you're gonna dig without shovels or picks to boot. How are we gonna do that? You figure it out. And you, you can go back and tell your people you just made their lives even more miserable. Now get back to work. What? Needless to say, Mo and Aaron's first meeting with the mayor did not go well. And not only did they not get their request granted, but the mayor more than doubled the workload for everyone. And in case you're wondering, the children of little Joe were none too appreciative. So, that mask guy's name is the Lone Stranger. He's the one to thank for this? He's the biggest goofball to come around here since that Mo guy. Remember him? That guy was a piece of work. Let's go home, Zippy. I'm just making it worse. I don't know what I was thinking. Hmm. What are you doing? You can't leave now. But have you seen what I've done? They're better off without me. That's true. Hmm? But that's the whole point. When you just rely on yourself, on your own strength. I do the talking, you do the thing with the stick, and God does the rest. That was the plan, remember? God's plan. Well, I guess I did kind of blow it in there. Kinda? And if I'm not mistaken, that's not the only time you've gotten yourself into trouble with a dodgeball. But that was a long time ago, and only because I was trying to help. All your life, you wanted to be strong. But what God has called you to do here is far beyond your own strength. So I can't do this on my own. I can only do this if I let God do this. La -ta -da -ta -da. When the earth was born, who lit the light in the dark? God did. That's right. When the rain came down, who drew the plans for an ark? God did! Uh-huh. Precisely. And in case you ever wondered, when old Abe turned a hundred, who took the reins and gave him diapers to change? God did. Exactly! And when the... All right, all right, I get your point. It isn't my strength that's gonna help my people. It's God's. And since God called me to do this, He'll supply the strength I need. I'm gonna stick to the plan. So Mo and Aaron headed back to Dodgeball City to follow God's plan. I've got two more verses. Now y'all sit tight to see how things turn out. <laughs> 